What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of FTD Fish Tank Dave here and I am doing a new breeding project actually. This is going to be awesome. I'm so pumped about this. Um, I was working with a local uh, fish store owner um, and I've you know been breeding for a little while in this year and I've sold things back and forth to him. I bred some mystery snails. Trade you know basically sold him about 12 of those and then he turned around and I got an extremely good deal for some new fish. I'm not going to reveal what that is yet. Um, but uh, to jumpstart everything, we're going to go to my Endler tote that's in the basement right now. So this is actually a really cool project that I did. This Endler tote is a 27 gallon tote. Um, as you can see, this light right here has actually kept this duckweed going. For some reason, it's seeming to melt back a little bit right now, but it was doing really, really good. These Endler are, are hilarious. Check this out. So these Endler are, are so like, look at this. They swim right into my hand. Look it. Look, caught one. Want to catch a fish? That's how easy it is. Um, these are my Endlers, um, which are... Uh, you know, for, this is actually first generation, trying to breathe them out. Okay, so the plan is to take this new sponge filter, brand new, unopened right now, um, and actually I'm gonna put it in this tank right now. I'm gonna take that sponge filter and go put it in the pond outside, the 28 gallon tote that I got. Um, so let's do that. All right, so we just switched it out um, just now. Oh, mind the mess, guys. I'm gonna take this up there with the gross sponge filter. We see all that dirt and grossness on there. That's exactly what we want because that's gonna jumpstart the bacteria in the tote. And then I also got a, another pump right here that we're gonna plug in and uh, get it going. Um, so they should be good with the existing bacteria that they have, obviously. There's bacteria still all over the duckweed, all over the plants, all over everything else, and it's just gonna suck it right back in there. So these should be completely fine, and we should achieve what we're trying to do and get the new tote going. Okay, guys, this is this is where all the magic happens, and this is the big reveal. All Obviously, you've already seen the video. Uh, you know what the title is, so um, you're gonna know what this is, but look at that. Koi sword tails. How gorgeous are the are these fish right here? Um, I've been acclimating them slowly. I got the dirty sponge filter. I even squeezed it out and got all that good bacteria in here. The water, which I actually set up a couple days ago, is warm from the sun, so should be acclimating these no problem. I'm going to be very very slow with everything. I'm going to put the sword tails in there and then drip acclimate them so we can actually get a better look as well. All right, got them out. It's eh, faster than a drip, but they've been sitting out here for probably, they've been sitting out here for a while, so this should probably be okay. We're gonna get a good look at them before we set them free. Um, but yeah, let this fill up about halfway. Also, while we're waiting for them to acclimate, um, also I grabbed a bunch of guppy grass and duckweed mixed in. That's gonna be going, that was from the actual uh, Blue Dream Neo Caradina shrimp tank. So I'm gonna chuck these in there as well. Big old, big old thing. Let me dump that out. Yep, even all the, all the, all the little duckweed may grow and uh, start propagating and, you know, I wanna see this thing basically covered in duckweed. That would be cool. So, um, and water lettuce too, so. Getting the uh, guppy grass in there is just help. Uh, obviously put more good bacteria as well as, uh, you know, give something to grow underneath the water. More hiding spaces for fry, all that stuff. So if this actually works, this breeding project works, I'm going to be super happy. Um, the owner of Pet Haven's like, hey, if you get more, bring them back. You know, if you end up breeding them, you know, bring them back to me, I'll buy them basically. So that's awesome. I, I, <laughs> it's going to be a lot of fun. All right, here's... A really good look at them before we actually go ahead and uh, put them in the, in the pond. Absolutely gorgeous. I don't know if it's coming off on camera, but this guy, the male, is absolutely stunning. Um, <laughs> honestly, super happy I found the trio here. You can see the two females over there, the male. Um, this has been over half filled with the pond water, um, and they seem to be doing fine. And they're not breathing hard. There's nothing's going on with them. They look to be doing really, really good. So we're gonna go ahead and put them in the pond now. All right, here we go. We're gonna put these guys in, drop, put them in, let them go get out and swim. 
All right, guys. Free. Freedom. Come on. Come on. There you go. So, not the best setup in the world. I wish I could have gotten more time to get the water a little bit better, you know? Um, but I'm going to try to feed these guys later, see if they'll actually eat, wait until they get a little more accustomed to the pond. And I can't wait to keep updating you guys on this. Um, the biggest achievement will be obviously seeing fry for these guys. So there it is. They're starting to actually swim around a little bit, which is good. Um, which means I did my job acclimating them. Um, meaning they're not just sitting at the bottom gasping for air. You can see the male right there. He's darting across. He's just going to get used to the surroundings. I think later today I'm going to try to feed him, like I said. Um, I do want them to rely on mainly the bugs and things that are going to be outside. And I'm sure there's going to be plenty of stuff for them to eat once this pond gets more established um, and gets going. I'm super excited. These guys are absolutely... I mean, I don't think... The video even does it justice. That guy, that male right there is absolutely stunning. So, gonna be awesome. I cannot wait till I see Fry in here. Also, uh, these two tanks right here are actually just, uh, are just sitting here uh, accidentally making green water right there, apparently. <laughs> these are from uh, tanks I got off the Facebook Marketplace. I'm actually uh, water testing them right now. I bought the paint to paint the backs and everything. So, uh, I got three 20 longs and a metal heavy duty, looks like a custom, a custom uh, stand for $80. Then I got a 20 gallon high that I never water tested before and another 20 gallon long. So the three 20 gallon longs are going to go um, on, that, on that custom rack, custom stand. Uh, and surprisingly, uh, this, this has been a couple days they've been holding water. I, I obviously when I check for water leaks, I check for a couple days multiple days just to make sure so these two tanks are doing absolutely awesome uh, I plan on draining these out later and then I'm gonna probably do a video on how to paint the backs of aquariums um, and go through that whole step which I've done already I got the paint for that plus I got the paint to repaint the actual metal stand as well it's all the same paint so that ended up working out good right, let's go back to these guys you can see them the two females are swimming around which is this is all good signs right here the fact that these fish are swimming around not gasping for air at the bottom or are uh, you get see the male is hiding under the water lettuce over there it's hard to tell but uh, the fact that they're doing this good is is an awesome sign all right guys that is gonna do it for this video uh, you know if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe and like and comment it that all really really helps this is gonna be so fun sharing my you know fish journey with you the aquarium hobby with you guys um, from the steps of being just you know a guy with 10 tanks to a guy with his own fish room so we're gonna see all of that happen on this channel also <laughs> it is so muggy outside today anyway <laughs> that's besides the point Thank you guys for watching. Really do appreciate that. So like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.